This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Well, hello, hot. How you doing? Welcome to Hibachi Talk. Gordo, the tech star here. What? Ben, why are you looking at me so strange? <laughs> This is the first time Ben's ever seen this show. So anyway, it's Gordo the Tech Star here. I'm here with Andrew, the security guy. Hey, everybody. Aloha. And we're here with Ben Williams. Ben Williams is the uh, owner of Hawaii Triathlon Center. Hi. He's the most athletic guy we've ever had in the house next to the Mr. Lanning. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is not a comparative scale And they there, called really. me an athletic supporter many a time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, please grab yourself a libation, pull up a chair, and join us for an interesting conversation about the... Uh, Creating an Olympic competitor in the triathlon business, mm -hmm. or not what you call it business. I should call it the uh, yeah, the industry. It's a industry. lifestyle. Yeah, it's a real lifestyle and so on. So we're going to get into that in a second. But I have we have our, our segment we always do at the beginning on um, cryptocurrencies our latest and Bitcoin, topic. latest topic. So um, I've been getting asked. By the way, I'm doing a presentation tomorrow okay. to the Women's Professional Association on cryptocurrencies. But I was asked, um, well, what kind of apps? do you use to track all this stuff that's going on? And I have a, one that's pretty cool. Um, we could probably show up an image of it. It's called Coinfolio. Okay. And it's a freebie. And you can just download it, and you can uh, enter the uh, cryptocurrency values that you have into that, and it updates it on a uh, per-second basis. Okay. And you can always see how much money you're winning and losing. Okay. Right there. That's so, nice to know, right? That's nice. So how much have you made since the, I so, gave you... So uh, he gave me like $12 worth of Bitcoin. 0.005 Bitcoin a couple weeks ago, yeah. and now it's worth, it was worth like $12, now it's worth like 20 and I've Great. done nothing. Yeah. So, so he's, my he's, money's gone up like 70%. He's gone up, he made 70%. Oh, 70%. Yeah. 70%. That's 70%. huge. It's huge. Um, and if you imagine if that had been $1,200. That's yeah. right. That would have been nicer. Which you used you to have at one point. give me $1,200. <laughs> like, why not? <laughs> well, life is what it is. Anyway, Ben, we're going to uh, start talking with you right now. And so tell us a bit about yourself. So where are you from? Where'd you grow up? Where'd you go to school? How did, yeah. you, how did you make it here? Oh, dumb luck. It, uh, I, I grew up in Florida. I actually grew up sailing on the water. I was really involved in ocean sports. Um, but then that, you know, that naturally led to swimming and then uh, high school cross country and, mm -hmm. and track and then uh, college ran a little bit. Uh, I went to school at uh, Florida Atlantic University and, um, ah. and then made my way out And you here. ran track there? I didn't know you ran track there. It's awesome. Cross country. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cross country. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. So yeah. where, where in Florida is that? I'm trying to figure out where that is. Is it by the East Panhandle Coast? side? Or uh, is it? East Coast, southern southern end, uh, just north of Fort Lauderdale. Oh, okay. Southern, Got it. About an hour cool. from Miami. Yeah. So and did, and you also used to coach some sailing? Didn't I remember? I did, yeah. So that was a big part of, uh, I think, what's given me the confidence to, to do what I'm doing now with the kids is uh, I did. I got to work with a lot of um, high high performing youth sailors and so that wow. was uh, you know it was a great opportunity there was a it was a great environment to uh, to kind of develop the coaching side of things with a skill that I was already familiar with right um, and see how to organize uh, you know that the safety involved around taking kids out on the water was a big part of it oh, yeah so no that's kidding. given me a, a lot of confidence now of just understanding what needs to be in place to you know take responsibility for for kids and but why did you, okay, so Florida, that isn't too shabby from a weather standpoint. I don't do cold whatever. weather. I don't do cold uh, weather. Yeah, but Florida exactly. doesn't have cold weather. No, no. So that was any other option so, outside then, of Florida. So now you go to Hawaii. <laughs> so, so I wasn't you going said, like, north. I'm tired of the hot here in Florida. I'm going to go to Hawaii? No, it, uh, it was uh, just a, a different atmosphere. I'd spent some time sailing. It brought me uh, to the Caribbean a bit. So I okay. spent some time on the Caribbean islands. Um, and you know, traveling around, and uh, there wasn't really an island that provided what I was looking for, uh, as far as um, you know, a lifestyle that that uh, you know is still the United States. I think that's a, that's a big part of it. Um, True. And uh, you know, the infrastructure that comes from that, and yeah. and the ability to to get this training in and, and to pursue this active lifestyle with. Now, without losing too much uh, contact with the, the outside world. Yeah, but the East, you know, you've, you're, you've picked pretty well to the farthest, <laughs> farthest spots. East Coast right? to the... I got the, the East Coast, southern yeah. tip of Florida to... He'd have to move to Kauai. Oahu. You've got to go to, to, move to, to the west coast, west coast of Hawaii. Yeah, so you got to go all the way to the end to get even further away. And That's then awesome. and then you start up a business in one of the most unfriendliest business climates in the world. I'm not going to... You don't have to comment on that at all. That's my <laughs> comment. So it just, you know, we're, we're ranked the worst in the entire nation as far as business is concerned, but you come in and you start a business. Yeah. You start your own enterprise. 
27,000 well, small businesses in the world. When I, when, when when I the first world. ran into Ben, he was tr training a lot and, and winning a lot. So you were, I did, did you come for the triathlon environment? or was I it, did. Was you know, I, I felt like my life had come to a head for all kinds of reasons. Oh, and, yeah, you're uh, so old, man. I, tell I you. know. <laughs> it, was, it was a quarter-life crisis. I was, uh, quarter life, life crisis. Nice. I was 26 <laughs> years old, and it was time to, it. to change things up. That's awesome. Uh, so that's what I did. I, I raced my first triathlon in high school in 2002. And uh, it's something that I've stuck with over the years. It's always been, you know, for the longest time, it had been an outlet, something different mm -hmm. to do from sailing. And uh, I, I just felt like that was something else that I knew that I was comfortable getting involved with. And, and the Ironman is out here in Kona. So, so when you say triathlon, are you saying an Ironman type triathlon or a smaller one, like a Tin Man type triathlon? Yeah, well, so it, Tin Man is, uh, is, is definitely a triathlon. It, um, triathlon designates the the sport and the then three. Ironman would designate the distance. Mm -hmm. So you've got different distances. We when we talk about Olympic racing, that's a different distance also. Yeah. Uh, so it's just swimming, cycling, and running, and uh, whatever. Well, in my younger in my younger years, I did ten man ten and eleven. So did right. you? So See, which did, is did, some I, time I, ago. I knew you had run. I didn't know you did triathlon. Yeah, I did cool. ten and eleven. So See, everybody's in Hawaii does a little. You've got to do it once, and I did it a second time just because I was afraid I couldn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> now awesome. ask me if I've done it again. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> they were just, Tim Man's uh, one of the longest running races around. It's they a just, fun race. It's a super fun race. It's yeah. just every, for me, it's just the right amount of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It's, it's just the right amount of every piece that you can do. Yeah. So, now, so when you're saying triathlons, are you talking Ironman, Tin Man, or j uh, both? Uh, all of it. Okay. All every of it. Yeah. And uh, there's a, they're, they're very different. Uh, Ironman racing compared to the type of racing they do in the Olympics, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a completely different, it's almost a different sport, different rules, different uh, formats. Yeah. Ironman so. is for those that don't have a lot of marbles left. Oh, I'm looking at you over there. Ironman is, <laughs> is what you, what happens is you start, and I, I'm not sure if this was your story, but you, you start with the shorter ones and then you go, oh, I can go longer, and then you go, oh, I can go longer, and what happens is they, they double them, so it's longer is quite a bit longer. Yeah, right? no yeah. kidding. The half is what about seventy miles, and then you get up to the the Ironman is one hundred and forty total. Yeah, forty point forty point six or something. I mean, it's a long day. It is. They, <laughs> no the kidding. allure is there. They they just have done you know back with like Julie Moss in the very beginning and the drama that surrounds these really long events. I think the the allure is just mm. it, as you as you show up to the event you know you do one that's a little bit longer and you you're a little more brave showing up for the next one and uh, and then all of a sudden you, you're captivated by this challenge that uh, there's so much drama around it to get now to are there a lot of I know the Tin Man and the Iron Man but are there other triathlons in Hawaii there are yep oh yeah yep uh, we've got uh, just about every distance from the very shortest all the way up through Iron Man what's the shortest the shortest would be a sprint. So this weekend coming up, for example, there's a, there's a sprint race on the Marine Corps base. And it's, uh, yeah, I think it's a 300-meter swim and then a 10-mile bike and a three-mile run. Oh, that's a sprint. But you can do it off the well, couch. Anybody can do it. At my age now, that's not quite a sprint. But, you know, for some, well, they, they for call you guys. that because they go, because it's shorter, so you can go at max your max the speed, idea. because it doesn't last very long. In <laughs> yeah, my, max, my max speed's still very slow. My max to speed like is a walk. Yeah, so. exactly. Well, there'll be people walking. There will too. be people. I mean, yeah. There's no doubt so, about yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Awesome. 300 meters. Now that's easy. That's an easy swim. So we can float that. So yeah. when you came, you, uh, you so when you you got here, did you did you start racing right away, or did you? Because I know you, you actually raced on the pro circuit. You've done. A, give us a bit of your um, your evolution from arriving to. You know. Yeah, yeah. So I that that's basically what happened. I I connected with a a really good group of folks that uh, the the. Uh, and so I have. I've traveled around the world. I've, I've raced all over the place uh, at a professional level. And um, the community here in Hawaii, the triathlon community, is like nothing I've ever experienced. Oh, all around, that's awesome. all around, uh, all around the, world. the world. All around the world. This is the community here is special, like nothing I've ever experienced. And uh, and that drew me back. And and that's what made the decision easy to end up back here. Um, so I, you know, I did. I moved here. I I didn't know a soul when I showed up. I actually uh, I I applied for a permit to camp out at Sand Island uh, Park. Okay. Uh, because that was the state. You know, on the internet, that's the state park that yeah. uh, you can apply. You can camp in, and it was not the experience I'd had camping across <laughs> the, uh, the mainland. Extremely wow. positive, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, wow. I, I I met some some uh, local residents there that weekend, and. Uh, <laughs> And so I didn't know a soul, you know, and so sure. the community that, that uh, brought me in was, was the triathlon community. And, uh, and it was something I was interested in anyways, but it, that, that just really 
cemented the the um, the journey, I guess. So, but how did you find the triathlon community? I mean, how did you? Um... They're just they're out and about. If you if you go out and ride your bike on the weekend, you will meet okay. some people. Okay. So you're gonna run you, into. You're gonna run into them, and yeah. you know you show up to a race, and that was the thing. You know, one of the first races I did was the Lonnie Kai Triathlon in April. Okay. And uh, I I met so many people there that uh, it was you know they took me right in, and so that was just very encouraging. So. It, sure. For the next couple years, that was like 2010, 2009, 2010, and then uh, you know it just uh, grew into eventually doing longer races. Yeah, but, but okay, you did the race, but what, what possessed you to start a company? So that uh, <laughs> that's been a, a little more organic. I, you know, I so after I, you know, I, I had done some racing at a, a pretty high level and, and gained some experience and began coaching. Uh, and that was just sort of a natural progression. Uh, the coaching led to, um, you know, more specialized services within the industry, bike fitting, um, mm. you know, selling high-end equipment. There's, mm -hmm. you know, we talk about technology. This has yeah. become an, an incredibly technological sport. The bicycles are the amazing. The bike technology is incredible. And now yeah. even stuff as simple as running, they've gotten very, very uh, advanced with the tools that you can use. Yeah, I got disc brakes on my new bike. Yeah. And that's a great Isn't example. That awesome? Disc brakes. And they work in the rain. Isn't oh, they're amazing? awesome. They, you actually stop. They're a, I almost flipped over the front the first time <laughs> I used them. They're so they good. They work. They're very powerful. <laughs> That, and that's, that little spongy thing on the side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's, uh, so that's where it's headed. So my niche, I would say, has just been more in that, the, the pointy end of the developing technology. Yeah. And so um, there's a market for that. And there aren't many other people here in Hawaii that, that are interested in that side of things. So mm. um, that's, that's sort of how it grew, was just uh, pursuing my interest in, in the front end of technology. And the new methods and new, you know, I, I really try to, to follow who's at the forefront of the industry, Olympic coaches and, and the top professional coaches and, and athletes. And there aren't really many other people doing that. So that was just sort of the natural progression that we took was uh, it, it got to a point where working for, for another shop uh, that just wasn't necessarily as interested in mm. that as I was, and uh, it was a natural departure. Well, to it sounds like you're interested not not only in the in the technology, but you're in the in the career and what it what it can do as far as a lifestyle. Yeah. And so you're doing you're living your dream, I guess. Yeah. Can, so to speak. So wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. Well, we're going to take a break. To, we're going to take a break, and then we're going to get Angus. He's got Scottish word of the day. It's been a long time uh, since we've I'm done not that. Any good at these. Get ready for that one. All Scottish right. word of the day. Um, then we're going to talk about this your thing you're doing with the youth and the training that's all happening on that side. So anyway, we got Ben Williams. And he's the owner of Hawaii Triath Triathlon Center, which I keep spelling wrong, by the way. I keep putting an <laughs> A in there. But anyway, from Hawaii Triathlon Center, um, and we'll be back in about a minute. This is Think Tech Hawaii raising public awareness. Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff, MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome back. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, and you are. we're on Hibachi Talk today with Ben Williams from the Hawaii Triathlon Center. And I don't have a security minute, but what I do have for you is some advice. You want to learn more about security. There's a symposium for a safer Hawaii. Uh, next week, it's going on Pacific Club. It's free. Check it out on Eventbrite, uh, and you can learn everything you need to know. Pick a session that suits you. There's four different sessions that are going to happen. 
Uh, Angus, welcome, buddy. Hey, How you doing, there, dude? Very it's well, great sir. to see you, lad. Good to see so, you, so, man. So, I like your hat. Yeah, you like my wee hat. Today. I know, yeah. my hair's getting a wee bit long. Yeah, it looks good, though. Yeah, I like it. Anyway, I got a question for you. It's got a Scottish word of the day. Oh, uh, you know I'm no good at these. But first, but first. What Maybe date? Ben knows it. Yeah, he might know it. But what, what date? What dates are your uh, the symposium oh, next the 29th week? and 30th. 29th and 30th. You can okay. come? Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, maybe we can do a show from there. We'll be, yeah, we try to do a show. Right on. Okay, I'll do all kinds of things. Anyway, I got a Scottish word for you today. Right, and so this is very thematic on what happened on the course of this week. The word, the Scottish word of the word is of the week is eclipse. That's not Scottish. Yes, it is. So tell me what it means. I'm, it means an eclipse. It means that can't see the sun because the moon's in front of it. Wrong. What? You got it wrong. <laughs> and I gave you all the hints in the world. Here's what it is. You know, when my hair gets a wee bit long, I go to the barber and eclipse it shorter. <laughs> I don't. I gotta check your facts, man. I'm it not is sure a very good that. Scottish word. So eclipse is make sure you're, Scottish. Make sure that Gordon's got to get his wee beard eclipsed. <laughs> anyway, that's my Scottish word of the day. You have a great day. I say at the end of every segment, let your wing gang free or you be a low. Huh. <laughs> Angus is killing me with this stuff. Eclipse. Eclipse. Okay, I'm gonna investigate that one. His barber eclipses here. All right. Well, welcome <laughs> back. We got Ben Williams here from Hawaii Triathlon Center. We want to talk a little bit about the shop. We we'll yeah. talk about some of them services you got going on there. What do people come in for? Like if they're new to triathlon, what's the most most common request? Like, oh man, I, <laughs> you know there is one. Uh, we get new people in the shop all the time, and that's you know it. it uh, it's I've gone to great lengths to make it approachable. Awesome. I, a, a big part of our roots, you know, I I race professionally, and and my personal goals have been. Uh, to compete at the elite level, and uh, we've drawn some other athletes that have similar goals, and it's been actually a little bit of a challenge to to play that down some and and really focus on folks that are new to the sport. Uh, mm. That's where my heart the is amateurs. at. Amateurs, yeah, and uh, not just the amateurs, but people that are you know they've heard of triathlon, they they are interested, oh, oh. but maybe they've never they don't even know where to start. Wow, and we are a great place to start. Uh, we we can get you off the couch, we can get you out of the car, whatever. Whatever is intimidating about it, we, mm -hmm. we do our best to uh, explain it. And uh, I think once it's all out there, um, it's not so intimidating anymore. Yeah. So uh, the biggest question that folks uh, will, will bring to the shop is, is where do I start? What do I start with? And most folks, believe it or not, can do a triathlon on the very first day. It, it could be something as short as a, a three-minute swim and a five-minute bike ride and a two-minute run. Uh, anybody can do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so it, you just have to make it, uh, you, you know, uh, the way to eat an elephant's one bite at a time. And I think that right. that's, uh, that's how we approach it. So mm, That's awesome. We're very beginner-friendly. Uh, training is, is a lot of what we do. So folks mm. come to us and ask, how do I finish this first triathlon? And we'll, we'll help them. Uh, we'll give them all the tools. We'll write the plan. Um, we'll set them up with the bike. You know, we're a, we're a bike shop. We're a retail bike shop. We, okay. we work on bikes. We sell new bikes. Uh, all the equipment that you would need to ride a bike or compete in a triathlon. And, uh, and then the service side of that is, is you know, the bike fittings and uh, the training to, mm -hmm. to get you where you need to be. So where's your shop? I, I was going to ask you at the end, but last now. So where is your shop? We're in Kailua. So oh, okay. Kailua is a great place. We've got uh, great ocean swimming just down the street. We actually have the district pool, which is a free 50-meter pool right across the street. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the trainers at our shop. We've got great running in the community. Um, there's several races right out of our door that you mm -hmm. know happen throughout the year. So we're in a great. We're just uh, near Cinnamon's restaurant. Okay. Uh, in, in Kailua. Yeah, oh, yeah. Terrific. Good stuff. So um, who who do, you, do do swimmers come and want to learn how to ride a bike? Do cyclists come and want to learn how to run? You know, I came into it because my wife said, you're going to go do this if you want to spend time with me. And I was like, what? So I had to go out and learn how Did to do you know all these how to things. Swim? Not correctly. I mean, you know, it takes a long time. But you, you coach swimming. You coach yeah. each of these sports individually as well as the whole thing. Absolutely. And that's a, you know, that's a big part of what we do. We have a, a pool that we rent the entire pool, and we do awesome. weekly swim training there. We do, uh, we, you know, we take video. We offer uh, a pretty thorough analysis of, of your stroke. But um, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's what we do. So it's the, the training that comes along with it. So what about the, so you, you work with um, adults, children, who you work, what's your kind of focus right now? The full spectrum. So that, that happened a couple years ago. There's a great race here, the H3 triathlon, and okay. uh, it finishes over in Kailua, and it's a, a great event. It supports uh, law enforcement and... Um, Federal law. Fleth. You're, 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 yeah, we're both Fleth members. Yeah. 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 So yeah, you guys get it. It's a, a great cause put on by a great group of people, mm -hmm. and I... Uh, and I, so I finished the race a couple years ago, the first version of the race. I looked around, I was the youngest person there by far. And that, that was kind of That's scary. either a good thing or a 
It, <laughs> it was a bad he was also, That's a strange he, thing. Uh, he was bad. also the fastest that day, by I the would, way. I would bet, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of strange. It's kind of strange. And so, I, I mean, I'm young, but I'm not that young. You know, yeah. and this is a sport that we've, we're, we are sending folks to the Olympics. The U.S. won an Olympic gold medal in this sport in Rio. Mm -hmm. uh, we should have a lot more young athletes. Especially in Hawaii. In Hawaii. Especially in Hawaii. This is the With Mecca. the climate and with everything we got. Yeah. But we don't. We don't. Uh, we're working on it. So back to your question, you know, do we have swimmers or runners or who's coming? Um, we, you know, with the kids, we try to target swimmers because that's one of the hardest things to, to pick up, mm -hmm. uh, to learn later in life to swim quickly yeah. is, is a little bit challenging. But we get all types. So we, you know, we have runners that have had injuries and they're looking to, you know, mm -hmm. cross train a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we've got swimmers that are looking to mix it up. We've got... Uh, uh, the smallest demographic is probably cyclists that come to the sport that want to either swim or run. Yeah, because they're just so snotty. Already. I think it's a, <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. You're not helping the uh, the atmosphere. image yeah, of the cyclists. We love cyclists. Yes, uh, we love cyclists. Yeah, we, we love cyclists. Um, Car drivers don't like them, but that's another that's story. another. Well, story. we do our best. We, we do our best. Uh, hey, I just came back from Toronto, and they've got all these bike lanes and everything. Awesome. And all I heard constantly was complaining. Hmm. about cyclists the cyclists and, the no, cyclists. and they were full i mean the bike lanes were full and i'm going i can't believe why can't we get along yeah why why is this and they got them all divided up nicely right. and everything looked great but and i said this is wonderful i mean what's what's wrong with this mm -hmm. and they, ah, no they get in the way they took a lane away a lane on this street they took away a lane on this street so, so get on your bike yeah exactly take when your you bike? get on your bike so, so anyway. you you just were at nationals I was just a national. So, uh, Tell us about that. Sounds exciting. Yeah, back to the kids. You know, they yeah. we yeah. that's that's where the future of our sport is. Yeah. And so, so uh, you're training Olympic. Well, that's the goal. Potential. We had to start somewhere. So they uh, we're not the first one, but we're definitely the most committed uh, youth training program. There there was nobody else currently doing mm -hmm. anything. Nobody's doing. Nobody's done anything for several years. So you know, we're getting, running on time. So I'm going to push real hard because yeah. I want to get stuff out. So um, so you've got this youth training program right. out of your. Out of our shop. Out of your shop. Yep. And then, so when does this happen? How do, how do I find out about it? How do I get kids involved, yeah, young you adults? Yeah, call the shop or just show up Sundays at 9 a.m. Okay. We have our training. The big thing that we do is races. So we put on youth-specific races okay. uh, that are they're put on in a format to prepare kids to get really good at the sport. So we have one coming up on September 17th. Uh, that's going to be in Kailua, yep. and, uh, and that's, that's how we get the kids into it, is giving them races to train for. Uh, yeah. It's just like, so you get, so that, but do you have other, oh, there, there's your flyer right there. There's Perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. So, so Hawaii Triathlon up. Center, um, September 17th, Kailua Beach. And that's oh, ages, nice is so ages 7 to 17. Seven, that's uh, 7 to 17. Now, do you have anything for seniors? Uh, not right now. Well, well, you, you every other Lani Kai. You can do Lani Kai. Yeah, you can do Lani Kai. I can oh, do you can do the race on the You won't be the oldest guy there. I know, but I'm just, I need training. They just opened up Ironman to, I think, the 80 to 80, 84, 80 yeah, to 84 age group. Okay. Yeah. Because they kind of had an 80-year-old that wanted to go. I think he won because I think he was yeah. the only one. Well, you just yeah, got to show up. My knees are all shot to hell, but I think I can run six miles. Yeah. So or you can go, sometimes you can pair up with someone else, right? So you could do, do the, you could do the swim and they could do, someone else does the oh, bike. Oh, I can definitely do the yeah, swim and, somebody else and do, the bike. Yeah, you can get a team. I can't do the run. Oh, so there's team ways of doing this as well. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, you got... You've got this the, this child child the kids program youth kids, kids, kids program. program. Yep. How long you been doing this? Well, we're in our second year now. So we did. We just uh, we've been pushing. I I feel like to get the kids excited about it, they've got to have something to look forward to. So right. this year we we took a small group to nationals. Uh, they took themselves. We just encouraged them to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's you know it was so eye opening to see this is the future. The kids that we saw winning races at nationals, mm -hmm. we're going to see at the Olympics in 2020. So do you reach out to the schools as well, or, or is we it reach just out to the schools? The swim teams are sort of prime picking for us because they they're getting that fitness training during the week. Okay. So like Alea Swim Club is right there okay. in Kailua. Um, Kamehameha swim team, you know, those are the, those, there, and there's many others, but those are just a couple of it. Yeah. My nephew just um, started uh, Punahou for the first, you know, first yep. family member ever to get into Punahou, wow. and he's on the swim team. Oh, Great. Awesome. And so he had his first swim um, uh, uh, introduction yesterday. Fantastic. So this yeah, they, gets a math major. I don't have good, they, they have good lungs already, good endurance, right? Because yeah. you can only breathe when your mouth is out of the water, right? So they've, they've already got good Not. breathing habits versus, you know, yeah. Biking and running, you can breathe whenever. It's a little different. It's hard, harder to learn that. I, was, I struggled with that. Yeah, part. and just the technique is really difficult, yeah. you know, developing the, that coordination to, to swim well. So you take, you know, and, you know, it's an interesting uh, factoid that you may not know that 
Um, Hawaii has the lowest number of s people that can swim in the nation. No kidding. Huh? We have really? the lowest number of people that can swim in the nation. And everybody goes, what? Yeah. And here's, and here's you know, the main reason is, we have the lowest number of swimming pools. Yeah, I believe that. Oh, so that we got the ocean, yeah. but we don't have any. We are, and because we have the ocean, we don't have the community swimming pools and things like that. That you and I grew up in, yeah, right? right? Where sure. they dumped us at the, the at swimming the pool, pool yeah. and where we all learned. But so that's an interesting kind of thing. So again, I would um, have never guessed that. So you don't teach swimming though, do you? We do. Or yeah, you yeah. do. Oh, yeah, so yeah. you can go and start at the very beginning. You can start at the very beginning. You can know nothing about swimming, and we yeah. get you started. Well, I married my wife; she couldn't swim. Oh. And, and I she taught her how to does swim. Does she now? Oh, good. Yeah. So I mean, but it, it was. I was just. I couldn't. She grew up in Hawaii. I was like. We don't swim in Wahiwa. It's like Wilson. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So okay, so you got so um, you get a good turnout to these events. Or yeah, I mean, well, last weekend at practice we had nineteen kids. That's so awesome. That's yeah, and I mean the, awesome. the 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 vision that he has for looking forward. So here's a guy who's racing at elite level, but also you know trying to say, hey, look, the U.S. because Britain kicks our butt, Australia kicks our butt. Like so, there's. There's other countries that have these programs from, the, I mean, the time these kids can walk, they start oh, running right. them and yeah. cycling and swimming. All and right. the uh, U.S. just doesn't have that. So he's, you know, taking that on. And, you know, Hawaii, what a place to do this. You yeah. can train all year. Yeah. Freaking awesome. Well, we got a, a little, uh, less than a minute. Do you got any special message you want to get out before we... Yeah, you know, we, uh, the kids program is the, it's the future of our sport. It's great for the kids in that it, uh, you know, it sees them discipline. Uh, you know, they set goals. They work towards us. Uh, the work ethic they get out of it is um, it's it's really it's really good for them, and so we try to you know encourage that putting on four races a year. And they're healthy, and yeah. they lose weight, yeah. and you know they eat yes. right, and they train, and they do all the good stuff. Yeah, this is terrific. I just I just think this is awesome. Anyway, so we're um, getting ready to wrap up the show here. Oh yeah, we got um, as we do it every show. No guest goes unrewarded. You can use this as your. Um, Hydration device when you're. <laughs> It'll fit it's a right in the bottle case. It's a little right low tech. Bottle tech, case. But little low tech bottle case on your bike. Over the top Number one thirty in the series of our hibachi sock shows. Anyway, this is our uh, autograph solo cup. Thank so you very please, much. Please um, feel used to use that. You can actually put it on display. Um, I see them many a time at uh, eBay. local establishments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. eBay. I saw them at JJ Dolan's the other yeah, day. There's there's one there's one up the in the corner because we right. had Jay. Uh, E bomb on our show That's one right. time, so he's, he nice. displays it with great pride. Yeah. Very high, so it doesn't get stolen because the right. value is huge. Yeah. Anyway, we digress. Anyway, Ben, Ben Williams, owner of Hawaii Triathlon Center. Watch the show again if you missed anything. Check out your website at uh, hightricenter.com. Hightricenter.com. And then, uh, yeah, sign up, join up. I'm, I think I might give Come you a call. Out, give it a shot. It. Yeah, give me the seniors' discount. <laughs> <laughs> ARP. Anyway, this is Gorgo, the Tech Tower, Andrew, the security guy. He bought oh, you talk, and like we say at the end of your show, one, two, three. How you, How doing? you doing? How you doing?